Hello everybody my name is Kato and welcome back for another video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series and we're going to hop on into the playoffs for this uh, video boys. Now hopefully uh, we can move on a bit further than last year. Last year we got uh, eliminated in the first round which was really a shame. Especially after la the, other year the other previous year which was our first one where we went to all the way to the finals, the, the cup finals, just to win there, uh, lose, basically. So I know we got it in us to win the cup. We can win the cup. We got 52 wins. We are way above these guys. Uh, now they are having a good momentum over the past few days. But let's take a look at what type of team they have. I believe with the addition of players like Crosby and uh, Patrick Kane into my team, boys, I believe we've got an advantage over here. We'll see though. Uh, what do they have? They have uh, Bellows, Barzell, and Wallstrom. So they, yeah, these guys are pretty good. Pretty good. Power forward, playmaker, sniper. Yeah, that's actually a really good combo. So uh, watch out for that first line for sure. Uh, Bjork, Beauvillier, Neither Rider. All right, it's interesting. Beauvillier, sure, why not? Uh, Perlini, Einan, Eberly. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maximov. Uh, this guy's name, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. And uh, GT Brown, so interesting as well. Uh, Timmons, Tarasov. Tarasov, which is a uh, medium elite. Uh, pretty good defenseman, actually. Uh, drafted two years ago by them. So, drafted two years ago. So, that's their, they've got a, a big-time prospect over there. They also have the uh, this guy. So, they got two prospect um, the uh, I guess defensemen that are coming up, and they also have Demko boys. They do have Demko in the net, so they've got some good goaltenders, uh, a good goaltender, and also some defense that could help them in the long run. They've got a lot. Uh, I'm not too sure if uh, we're gonna be able to beat them. Hopefully, we can. Or we're gonna just jump right into it, boys. We're not gonna miss a round right here. Uh, actually. Before we jump in, I want to make sure that everything's right. We got the right lineups and everything. So they've got a better center core than us, I believe. The, what matters the most is who's that the first, right? I think uh, definitely ja Jack Hughes is a bit weaker than uh, Barzal at this moment, at least. But I think we got the advantage for, well, it's pretty much tied up. I mean, it's literally Markstrom versus... Um, Tatra Demko, they're both the same really. So we got the same goalie. I'm looking at center core and uh, D, D wise. Defenseman wise, I think we got a better defensive core. It's just center core, I think they're better. And uh, that's usually what you want to look at is their center core, defense, and goalie. That's what's going to save it. Uh, we do have Patrick Kane, of course, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, I'm not. Pulling myself into a corner right here. Hopefully we just don't get eliminated. We play well and uh, we should be fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can beat that team. Uh, we have more wins than them. Power play for us started off right at the beginning with a power play. We cannot score on the power play. And now uh, it's pretty much tied in the, uh, the, the shots right there. But quack quack boys is going to go ahead and score first against our goalie. That is not good whatsoever. Ovechkin is going to reply at the very end of the first period, though. That's what I like to see. I like to see that, Ovechkin. Nice. That's a, a fantastic for us. All right. Uh, second period. Let's not waste any time. We got uh, some sort of momentum going. Another power play for us. We cannot capitalize, boys. That's two power play. We got to score on these power plays. These could be huge goals for us right now. And the fact we're not... We're getting a little bit outscored or so a little bit outplayed in this game. I do not like to see that. I really don't. Another power play. Power play goal by Patrick Kane. There we go. That's what I want to see, boys. I want to see some power play goals right there. Fantastic. Exactly what I wanted to see. All right. Third period. Let's go in. We got an advantage. It's not enough. But I think... Oh, never mind. No, I was about to say Markstrom can probably shut it down. But it, he can't. Uh, Bouchard is going to score it. But Jack Hughes is going to reply. First line. There we go. That's what I like to see. I want to see my first line out there, boys, doing their thing. Fantastic, boys. Going all in. 3-2 to two for us. Are you serious? Berlini's going to score one late on the third period? Oh, no. All right. Well, looks like we're going to overtime, boys. We're going to watch the game. Let's jump in. 
Here we go, boys. Starting the first or the overtime, I should say. I was about to say first period, not at all. Starting the overtime. I actually don't like very much that uh, that uh, audio, that uh, visual. So I'm gonna just go ahead and change it up again. Uh, gonna true change it to true broadcast. There we go. Should be better right there. All right, let's go. Yeah, much better. Yeah, let's go ahead and shoot it. There we go. Just like that. We're gonna start off now. I don't know if they managed to. Uh, change it up where you can actually see the name of your characters and stuff up close like that You can definitely see them. So that's good But I don't know if we're gonna be able to see so Wallstrom's gonna jump in Hopefully we see the name of our of our players. No, they didn't fix that boy. So Jack Hughes uh, At least I knew that I know the numbers a little bit boys. I know my first line. So there we go Take some time buddy. Take some time. I don't know who's who right now. God damn it, man I've got my captain though uh, there we go, uh, Jack Hughes right there, number 86, boys. Let's go, buddy. Oh, go in, go in right away. Yeah, there we go. Shoot it. No, what are you doing? You're right, the wide open net right there. What are you doing, buddy? All right, uh, go change. Go uh, go for the line change right now. You're on the, your side of the bench. Go for the line change. Don't let him in like that. Elimination, boys. It's the, it's the fucking playoffs. Don't let him in like that. Don't let him score. All right, go boys, go shoot it. There we go. All right, um, full change, full change right now. We're putting the second um, forward line in there with Ovechkin and Ishia. Uh, both of these guys can do something. Maybe Bjorkstrand can jump in as well to help out a little bit. Let's go, buddy. There we go. There we go, boys. Play well, guys. Block him. Don't let him in like that. Fuck, man. Come on, guys. Be a little bit more aggressive. Go, go, go. I mean, more aggressive, more aggressive. There we go. Full four check, full four check. Go, 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 go. All right. Uh, that's not gonna work. We're changing the lines a little bit. I'm gonna keep the second uh, defensive pair right there, but uh, putting Crosby out there to win that big time face off. Let's go, Crosby. Win that face off. Fantastic. There we go. That's what I like to see. Go, Crosby. Go, go. Do your thing. Shoot it right now. There we go. Good. I love to see that, buddy. Okay, uh, you guys are good defensively. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Play, de play defense. Block it. Block it. Protect the net. Protect the net. Nice. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job. We're going in. All right. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Crosby, you got this. Crosby, you go. Nice pass by Crosby, boys. This is why I added them to the team, boys, so you could make a difference for us. Change the, uh, the def defense right away. I think they already changed, boys. All right, time for a change for the for the uh, offensive line right there. There we go. Time for them to change a little bit. Pass it to, right to the middle. That's going to be a weak shot by whoever is number nine right now. I don't know who's number nine is. Uh, all right, so all the defensive pair. Pulley Harvey, we're pulling the fourth line in there, boys. McLeod with Pulley Harvey. I think he's number nine. I think that's Pulley Harvey right there, number nine, boys. Alright, I don't know if we're going to be good enough. I should probably not play the... Oh, my God. Alright, take a penalty, you dumbass. Why not? We're playing large box right here. Okay, let's try out large box at first, but I'm not too sure if that's a good idea or not, boys. I should going to do high pressure as well, because uh, I want to make sure that my team does play well defensively. Alright. Go! Oh, nice! Nice pressure right there! Oh, no, Isha just missed it by a mile, boys. There we go, shoot it. Waste some time, valuable time. High pressure, boys. That's what it does for you. That's what high pressure does for you, buddy. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right. Stop changing the lines for me, coach. What are you doing? Damn. Why is the coach doing that? Okay. You know what, coach? Stop changing stuff for me, man. I'm the coach here. What are you changing stuff for right here? All right, let's go. No, don't let Barzell in. Oh, my God. I, we are almost going to get let Barzell get in right there. Oh, my God. All right, change it up right now if you haven't already. Change it up. All right, go, go, go. Nice, nice, nice. Try. Try it. Waste some valuable time right there. Good, good try, good try. All right, I want the first line in there right now. First line in there. Go for a change. Go for a change right away. Go for a change. All right, good, good, good. All right, you guys are good. You guys are good. Pass it uh, right away. Go in there. All right, uh, Jack uses line. All right, so I think my defensive pair is just fine as it is. Shoot it. No. Okay, we almost got it, boys. 
It's a great ass game right now. I love seeing that the AI plays so well and that's why you got to be on your toes a little bit more, man. You got to know what you're doing uh, as the coaching. There we go. There we go. He was right in front ready to intercept that. All right, go uh, guys go for the change. I'm going to ask for the second line uh, of Etchkin's line to be in there. All right. Uh, time for actually timeout. Time for a timeout. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to ask uh, call a timeout right now. All right, uh, and uh, we're going to call for the first line in there. And uh, there we go. First, first line, first pair, boys. We're going all in. We got the timeout. Hopefully, uh, it's going to help us out a little bit there. Oh, God damn it. He lost uh, the face. That was almost bad right there. All right, good. Go, boys. Go, boys. We got the first line. They probably don't have their first line on right now. Yeah, we got to go in right away just like that. I like to see that. I like to see that. Let's go, boys. I should have probably... You know what? For the important face-offs, uh, defensive face-off, I should probably go with... Uh, from now on, I should probably go with uh, Crosby, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but right now, offensive uh, face-off, I can trust uh, Jack Hughes to do his thing. But defensive, I probably gotta go with Crosby. So the third line, boys. Oh my God, don't let him in. Uh, Beauvillier in a partial breakaway. Markstrom's gonna make that save, boys. Mark Markstrom's gonna make that save. No, don't don't let him in like that. All right, uh, you guys, go for the line change for right now. Go uh, defenseman, go for the line change. Go, all right, almost had the breakaway right there, almost had it. Yeah, go for the line change as well for the second line. You guys good? You guys good? On the other side, on the other side, buddy. There we go, on the uh, on the boards, on the boards. Don't uh, don't let Wallstrom in. That's a good player right there, don't let him in. Oh, the nice little rebound by Beauvillier right there. Stop him, then it distracts. All right, go, go in, go in, go in. Yeah, drive it in, drive it in, boys. All right, good job. First OT done, boys. Holy shit, that's going to be one hell of a video. We're going for the uh, the first pair. There we go. And I think we're good. Uh, I'm just going to check my strategies really quick just to make sure everything's fine. I think neutral zone's fine. Full attack. We'll keep it at full attack for now. I kind of am, I kind of am worried a little bit that full attack might be too dangerous. Uh, I might pull it back eventually if it gets too dangerous, boys. If we give too many breakaways and stuff like that. But right now, it seems like we're doing just fine. All right, we just got to make sure we find a way to score, really. That's all we got to do. All right, pass it. Okay, you're going to pass it to that board. It's fine. Ah, oh, there we go. Go full on assault, boys. Just like that. No, 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 no. I think it's the breakout, the way they're breaking out. They're breaking out. Five-way breakout is not really working out against the Islanders, that is, at least. Oh, goal in. Right away, nice try. Nice try with the pass right there. Now, we are very far away from our bench now. Or uh, close. Or are we even... I think we're in the same place, actually. Uh, I actually need my best. Yeah, I need uh, Ishiar, Hughes, and Crosby. The three centers, boys. My three best centers all together for this power play we need them all right there go nice here we go sydney crosby boys sid the kid giving us the victory in the power play for the second overtime this is why i put them all together crosby on a one-time spot right there pulls it off and we're moving on to the second round boys i like you like to see that I was getting very stressful right there. I did not want to lose in the first round. But there we go. There's a second round pass right there. Let's go. All right. Let's advance the day. We eliminate the Islanders. Let's see who's going to be our next opponent. The Pittsburgh Penguins. Well, this might be it for us, boys. This might be over right away. I mean, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they've got Barkov. So it's the duel, boys. Barkov versus Crosby. Which one of uh, these players, these players, is gonna have revenge of it against their old team? Uh, we'll see. I would really, I would really love to have Crosby do his thing and dominate. Uh, they, uh, I think, I believe, were the best team of the entire league. So, uh, Genzel, Barkov, and Bujnevich, boys, very dangerous lineup right there. And uh, we've got a sniper, two-way forward sniper. So. I don't think they're going to have too much. I don't even think they're going to have a two, a plus three. They might even mine, have a minus right there. They've got two snipers and they've got a two win there. So that might not be good for their first line right there. I don't know, boys. 
Uh, they haven't produced in the last line. Well, actually, they did get a goal from Genzel. Uh, Kapanen, Malkin, and Zibanejad, boy. So really good depth right here. They've got uh, that center core depth right here. But I think we got a better depth uh, center-wise. Uh, Songfist, Bailey, Tanev, Grigorenko, Barry Boulet, and Artman. Okay. So I think, yeah, Malkin is very dangerous. Very dangerous to have Malkin around. We got to watch out for Malkin, Barkov. Okay, these two first lines are going to be very dangerous. We've got Pedersen, Falk. Okay, so they're weak defensively. Defensively, we can. I think we can score goals on them. Oh, yeah, we, de we can definitely score goals on them. Uh, we just got to shut them down, really. That's all we got to do. We got to shut them down. And if we manage to do that, we can outscore them. I think so because, uh, yes, they got a good offense, but I got a better goalie and I got a better defense than them. So uh, I think I think we should be good, boys. Let's let's jump in. I don't want to say too much here. You never know with Pittsburgh Penguins, but there we go, right at the bat, first shot, first goal for Patrick Kane. Still doing it, boys. Jack Hughes, first line is popping off for us. I like to see that. I really like that. So another goal for Jack Hughes. Exactly what I wanted and what I expected out of my team right there. Okay, we can definitely get past that defense. Uh, they've got a weak defense and they've got a weak goaltender. So we can score on them. Yeah, Patrick Kane, second goal of the game. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think this is exactly... Yeah, Ovechkin scoring as well. This is exactly what I was expecting. They do have a power play right there. We shut them down. Yeah, we got a much better defense and much better goaltending than them. It's all about the defense, boys. If you don't have any defense in this game, you don't have any goaltender, you're not going to get very far in the real-time simulation. Oh, there we go. Bushnev is going to score for them, but I think it's a bit too late. I don't think Mark Strom's going to give up four goals in one period, boys. It ain't going to happen. We're going to shut that real quick. Shut that down, boys. Shut that down. All my goalers, uh, all my players, right, my big-time elite players are showing up for this uh, playoff, boys. These playoffs. They're definitely showing up. Jack Hughes getting a bunch of goals. Uh, Patrick came really showing up. And Ovechkin as well. My snipers, re, uh, I, I decided to keep them apart. And it's working out. So 5-1 to one victory. Easy victory against the Pittsburgh Penguins. I thought I would have a challenge. But when I saw that defense and that goaltender position for them, I knew already I was going to be able to outscore them. Definitely. So... Let's see, uh, we're going to the third round, boys, just like that. That's a successful for me right there. We're going up against the Ottawa Senators. Pretty weak team, 41 wins only. We'll see how, what type of team they've got really quick. Uh, I don't think, uh, if they only have 41 wins, I wonder how they made it that far. I mean, it is pretty random because of the single knockout, so anybody can win, really. But uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I'm really not impressed. I'm really not impressed. Formington with uh, Colin White. Now, he could be dangerous, but I don't know, boys. Uh, Patterson, Keith, uh, Brady Kachuk, not Keith, that's his father. Uh, Brady Kachuk, that's dangerous. I don't know why he's, they're, they're not playing him on the first line. Why? Why not? So Brady Kachuk, Kadri, and Alexander Holtz, boys. So two elite players getting together. So... The second line, my uh, second line might be the dangerous one. Then again, two way forward, two way forward, power forward. Actually, you know what? Might be garbage, boys. Two way forwards are not that good. Uh, Miles Wood, Logan Brown, Slinger, Chaplick, Norris, and Berglund. Berglund, which is uh, their first, yeah, two years ago, a first round pick from two years ago. So that uh, they've got another elite players. They're basically a team that's rebuilding, but they made it to the playoff, boys. Interesting. They're in the rebuilds. Oh my god, they got that defensive core. All right, that's what I was looking. We're gonna have a hard time scoring, boys. Okay, we're gonna have a hard time scoring. They've got Shabbat at 82 92 overall with Brenstrom 87 overall. Uh, they got Johansson and Thompson and Enola and Joseph. Not really a lot of depth defensively, but they've got these two great defensemen. Uh, to help them out. Okay, that's going to be dangerous. And they've got Gustafsson. So they do have a goalie that can make the saves for them. They might be dangerous, boys. This might be the team that's dangerous. Uh, forget about the 41 wins only compared to our 40, 52. Doesn't matter in this case. 
They've got the goalie who can shut it down a little bit, right? That goalie is just high enough at 85 overall so he can make it that he can make a difference. And they also have that those two big time defensemen. So I think they've got a better def uh, defense than us, actually. Uh, we got a better goalie and a better offense, though. So uh, you never know. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they're sh outscoring, outshooting us, boys, right now. Oh, well, it's actually pretty even some part. Oh, power play for them. We managed to kill it off. So our penalty kill keeps getting good, boys. We do have Dougie Hamilton's going to score a goal for us. Very important. I like I like that. Nice job, Hamilton. Yeah, right, let's keep it going. I, I think we should be all right. I don't want to speak too much. Yeah, Brady Kachuk's going to score one. He is the score after all. There's another penalty kill. We managed to kill it off. Uh, there's a goal. There we go. Smith. Uh, defense boys, defense scoring for us, and Ovechkin's gonna put one in for us, giving us a little bit of an advantage. Ovechkin, a second goal for us. Nice. This is why we have Ovechkin on our team, boys. Scoring clutch goals for us, helping us out in the playoffs. All right, that's what I'm talking about. 4-1. All right, I thought we wouldn't be able to score too much, but I think the defense scoring... Oh, hold on, Chaplik scoring one for the Ottawa Senators. I think... Um, uh, us having people big time scores like Hughes, uh, Ishiar, Crosby, Ovechkin, Patrick Kane. We got all these big time veterans and these prospects. All these big time elite players that are all playing for my team. They they can all chime in and Schwartz is going to put one in late. So there we go boys. We managed to actually get the momentum back and we got more shots than them in the end. So we won it 5-2. Just like that, and we do have an injury in the minors. Uh, Auchin's got injured. That's one of our big prospects right there, top six prospect. Uh, we're going to the F Stanley Cup Finals for the second uh, time in three years, boys. Fantastic. That's I like. I like to see that. So uh, let's see. What we're gonna face in the finals, Stanley Cup Finals, up against the Arizona Coyotes. Now they do have 53 wins. So they might be a dangerous team, boys. 9-1, and one, their last 10 regulation uh, season uh, games, boys. So that's very, very dangerous. But look at Patrick Kane. I mean, three goals and three games played. This guy's producing, and so is Ovechkin. Like, he gave us two goals, right? Or two clutch goals. He's at four goals, boys. No assists. He's only scoring goals for us. I like that a lot. That's really helping us out. This lineup right here. Definitely helping us out. And even these guys are doing so good, right? Now, the third line is the one that uh, actually produced... Well, they only have one point in this Crosby that scored. So, third line might be a problem. Usually, you win with your third line more often than not. But, uh, I don't know, boys. We'll see how it goes. So, let's take a look at the Arizona Coyotes. Our last team, we need to beat them. Last time... We got defeated, right? I don't even remember who defeated us, but we got defeated in the Stanley Cup Finals. Not this time. We got to get past this guy, these guys. All right. They got Taylor Hall, Dvorak boys, and Fisher. Now, this is a dangerous team. De dangerous offensive team, boys. Sniper, two-way forward, two-way forward. Yeah, they've got some two-way forwards there. Uh, it might work. It might not work. Uh, Palat. Quinton Byfield, which is a prospect, and Garland. All right. Aiton, uh, Nielsen, and Schmaltz. Grennan, Patrick Marleau, boys, and Donskoy. So they got that depth uh, center core. That's always I'm not looking at, boys. Depth center core, they do have it. Uh, da pretty dangerous. Uh, they also have that defense. They have that defense. They're a pretty similar team to us, boys. Now, it's time to look at the goalie. I hope not, but... Uh, Chichiren, Ekman, Larson, Lindholm even. You know, they've got some good pro good players in there. Goalie, please tell me that. Oh, NT Renta, yes. All right, they they don't have a goalie, boys. Although you can see 952 saving percentage. He played like a, he's playing like a beast. But that's probably because of the defense uh, he's got in front of us, uh, in front of him. So I think we got a pretty much the same offensive and defensive team uh than them we're pretty much on par except we've got a better goalie so i like my chances here boys i like my chances let's get in there win that game and win the f win the stanley cup uh, the stanley cup boys 
for the first time this uh, this uh, year for us boys so let's win it first time in my franchise mode for this year let's go let's do it beat the Arizona Coyotes we're out shooting them right now which is always good to see but Garland's gonna put one uh, a bit late in the first period for the Arizona Coyotes uh, we're out shooting them though I'm not worried too much I know I've got guys like Kane uh, Ovechkin, Crosby, they showed up uh, later on uh, earlier in all these uh, previous three games. They got to show up now more than ever. All right, power play. Long one. Oh, come on. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't score on one. There we go. Bjorkstrand on the first line for us. First line still scoring. I'm telling you, they've got that defense. They can shut us down. But Nico Ishiya, boys, uh, uh, eventually they've got a weaker goalie than us. They got a weaker goalie than us. So eventually... We're just going to be able to jump in there and with our offense, we might have the same defense, same offense, but eventually our offense is going to get the uh, the better end because we got a better goalie. We just got a better goalie. It's as simple as that. Let's go. Oh, no. Patrick Malo on the fourth line. Fourth line, my guy. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Are we going to overtime, boys? We're going to overtime. Oh my god. All right, take two, boys, for the Stanley Cup Finals. We got to do this. We got to be able to end this uh, misery. All right, last time uh, we didn't, we got a little bit unlucky. We actually uh, got wrecked in the, the finals last time. But this time around, we managed to get on par with the Arizona Coyotes. We're basically a very similar team. We're both the same team, except once again, we have a better goalie. So can you make a difference during that old overtime? Can, would that make a difference for us? Uh, we'll see how it goes, boys. But uh, the, the Arizona Coyotes decide to um, get the retro jerseys going on with the Jets. I don't know if the actual Jets are going to like that. But uh, it is what it is. We're going in. Uh, let's stop by Phil. Dead in his tracks, boys. Don't let him in like that. There we go. Stop the, stopping them in his tracks. And actually, now that I think about it, go high pressure like this. And, uh, okay, guys, go change. Go change for a line change right now, all right? We're on that side of the bench, I guess. We're in a way, so... Oh, no, Byfield! Oh, my God, he had a wide-open shot right there. He missed it. Oh, no, don't create a turnover like that. Don't create a turnover! No! Son of a bitch. I cannot catch a break, boys. That fucking single knockout. Oh, I cannot catch a break. That is the second time we go into the finals and we lose. We cannot win. We will go all the way to the end and we can't win the cup, boys. Unbelievable. I had all this combination. I was so proud of myself. I, w I thought for sure we were going to win. Fucking Patrick Marlowe of all people on the fourth line. Biggest acquisition ever for the Arizona Coyotes. Giving them the tie. And Andre Palat's gonna get the Conn Smite. Only two points. Are you kidding me, man? Edmonton Oilers coach has been uh, fired. Who the fuck cares? We keep getting unlucky. I swear we do. We keep getting unlucky. I don't know, boys. Now it's the second time in our franchise mode already within three or four years that uh, we get all the way to the finals and we lose. And that was in overtime. Anybody, any of us of the two teams could have won right there. But why the hell would it be the other team? Now Vegas is going to get the first round pick this year. Uh, where are we? We are the New Jersey. We're not even there. See, we're getting screwed because... We keep losing and we're not getting anybody. We're not getting any players because we have good seasons. We just can't get it done when it comes to the finals. Good. I like to see that. That motherfucker who basically gave uh, gave them the win. He's retired. There we go. He, he, got the, he got this Stanley Cup. Now he's retiring. Get the fuck out of here, Milo. Oh my god. Jason Spezza retiring as well. Get Slav, boys. We just lost Get Slav. So uh, there's that. We just lost him. Uh, he did finish up. Uh, it, well, he didn't play with us. I don't believe so, right? I don't believe he played with us. Uh, I think he he was our depth forward uh, during the entire year for the last year. 
Uh, Jonathan Taze is going to retire only at 36 years of age. He retired pretty early, boys. Interesting. Justin Williams, Carter, Bobby Ryan is going to retire. Alexander Steen. All these players. Radulov is going to retire, boys. We're losing a lot of players all of a sudden right here. Uh, defenseman. Jay Bomister is going to retire. Galagowski, Johnson. The two Johnsons. Strawman. All right. So, yeah, we, we're losing a lot of uh, players this year. Goalie-wise, uh, Jimmy Howard is going to retire at 40 years of age. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to quickly take a look at our entire team. Our team itself. What we lost. We, I know we lost uh, Getzlaff. Is that the only one we lost? I believe so, boys. So, Getzlaff is the only, uh, only player we lost. Over the two years he played with us. 33 points one season. 25 points. He didn't do too much for us, to be honest. He wasn't that great of a player for us. But he was playing on the fourth line. Uh, the two years. And then the third year is basically a depth forward for us. So... Not going to get too much out of him. Also, retired players. There you go. He's becoming a coach, boys. So he became a coach. Could probably add him to the list of coaches we have on our team. And did we lose anybody? I think uh, Rock for Ice Hogs is us, boys. So we might have lost uh, a coach right there in the uh, AHL. We'll see, though. We'll definitely see. All right. So we're coming on to the draft pick. Let's go see the coaching staff. I think we might have lost somebody. Yeah. We lost our AHL coach, which is pay, uh, assistant coach, uh, which is perfect because we can, uh, we could sign right now. I've got Buffalo Gun right as my head coach. Uh, I'm actually grooming him right now, but I think I, I like my uh, head coach. Jenner is perfect for me. I'm going to keep him. But Buffalo Gun, perfect head coach for the AHL boys. He's just fine uh, as it is. We also have Giordano as the goalie coach in the NHL for some reason. But uh, we could always. Always go back and get Getzlav, boys. Play as the assistant coach for the AHL. We could do that. All right. Uh, we're going into the draft. I'm not going to waste any time here, boys. Oh, boy. I'm so mad, though, that the fact that we went uh, again. We went into the finals. We couldn't. We uh, we just got unlucky. Again, we're just getting really unlucky. I don't know why. But uh, there we go. So Arizona Coyotes. We're going to get the very dead, uh, last dead pick. Now, I could probably move up. I'm pretty sure I can move up easily now. Because I do have a couple of prospects I can probably trade. So, let me uh, find out really quick. Uh, do we have prospects that we can trade? Uh, eventually, would be good, right? So, a couple of prospects we can get rid of. Like this guy right here. Aglin, right? But we can probably get rid first off of these types of guys. Like Scavallo. Stuff like that. Players like him we can get rid of. Okay, uh, they won't want that, but maybe if I give them, like, there we go. I don't care about top fours, boys, anyway, so there we go. Moving up by 10 picks already. Already, I'm cheesing it, boys. I'm cheesing it, I know, but moving up. Uh, another 10 picks, we're going to move up now. So we're going to go to 10th overall right here, all right? I'm not joking around anymore. I need these big-time prospect players that can help me out right away. I need them, boys, so... Uh, let's get uh, that under control. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. It uh, didn't, so I might. I'm gonna have to give them a little bit more, just a little bit more. That top nine player should do. Not enough. Okay, let's give them another prospect, just in case. And they, they sure want a lot right now. Okay, they do not. It's not gonna work. Okay, it's not gonna work. So I think I do need to give them. Uh, someone like him, like Aglan. I need, I need to give them Aglan, boys. So, let's give them that, and uh, plus the Hernandez guy. There we go. So we're giving them that, and uh, they've got a good prospect in there, I guess, a top four or something. We all, we now have a top ten pick. Exactly what I wanted. Now we can probably try move up from e even further. The more we move up, the more, the better ch options uh, or chances we're gonna have to get a a, a good uh, player right here. So. Let's move up, boys. Let's move up. There we go. We, I got plenty of prospects I can trade. So let's continue to move up right here. Yeah. I can trade many prospects. I've got plenty. Got plenty that are not signed in, buddy. So yeah, all right, whatever. You're going to keep refusing. I'm going to eventually get it. I'm going to get your pick, buddy. Don't matter to me. Either way, I'm getting your pick. Either way, I'm getting your pick, buddy. It don't matter to me, man. I'll find, I'll find something that you want. French uh, French through a starter, maybe? Actually, they don't want to. Okay, they really don't want to trade it. 
Okay, so maybe I can just move out by two. Like, just move out by two would help me out anyways. I'm really trying, boys, right now. Really trying hard. Uh, top uh, eight pick is already better than top ten pick. So let's see if we can move up. Uh, let's see real quick. No, they don't want to. Okay, so we're not going to be able to move any further than this. So we're going to be top 10, boys, in picks. Who's going to be the very first overall by the Vegas Golden Knights? Riss Miller, uh, medium elite, 82 overall, sniper. A uh, really good player for them. 40 goals in the minors. Good Lord, that's going to be one hell of a score. That was That is going to be a score, boys, big time. All right. Uh, Yui. For the uh, Blue Jackets, we've got uh, Medium Elite, Goldobin, okay, Goldobin or whatever. Interesting. Saad, a playmaker for uh, for them. Center Sniper for uh, another, uh, like another Media Elite Sniper for uh, the uh, Edmonton Oilers, boys. I can't believe this shit. Unbelievable. Uh, Cargillalo, so they missed out on somebody. Definitely Bissonette, uh, unless it's dropping out already. Feel like it's dropping out, boys. Interesting. All right, so it's already dropping out. We don't have any elites. I doubt that. I doubt we don't have any elites. Let's take a look really quick because I scouted pretty well this year. Scouted quite a lot, so I'm pretty sure we got some elites in there. We can pick for sure. Uh, if we take a look really quick, uh, who's that like a super high elite potential that we could get right here? He's a uh, number 31st, so. He could be, uh, get picked in the first round, boys. Uh, he's not, though. He's not. Does have those uh, really big time thing. Phil Housley, though. He's done. Comp he does compare to Phil Housley, so that means he must be an elite. This guy as well, Ryan McDonough. So these are kind of guaranteed elites right there. This guy can save for later, but this guy could go for him, boys. Twenty six, uh, three years. I c I should probably go for one of these boys. Enric Zetterberg. I mean, two years. Two years, boys. This guy's going to be ready in two years. Uh, what about this guy? Th th three years? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this guy so far might be the one, boys. Henry Zetterberg. Center. Another center. We got plenty of centers, though. That's the problem. Got plenty of centers. We might as well take him anyways. Max Pratt ready. That's garbage. Uh, we got um, any other, uh, maybe a player in there. I guess uh, low elite or something. Maybe three years. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, boys. This um, might be rough. So what they're asking me to go for right now, they, they're telling me I should go for this right here, which oh puts up a lot of points. He did pull out a lot, a lot of points. I'm not going to lie, but he's a medium top six. We already know he's a medium top six. So he's not going to grow that much. And how much is he? Three years to grow. So it's not he's not that good. He's not that good. This guy might be one year to grow. Medium top four. Uh, could be a really good one, boys. I just don't know, boys, if I could go for one of the... I should go for one of these. This guy is two years. Joe Thornton. Yeah, he's good as well. But, uh, you know, I kind of want to... I want to go for... I want to take my chances. I really want to take my chances here. This guy says two years. Might be a medium elite. You never know. All right, so I kind of want to uh, take my chances here, boys. I feel like these guys right here, uh, I mean, this sniper, though, yeah, I didn't put up any, a lot of points. I'm being pressed on time right here, and I don't know who to go for, to be honest. I really don't know. All these guys are pretty good. Like, all these guys are really good, boys. They've got some good stats. I've got 15 minutes to make a choice. Uh, 15 minutes to make a choice, boys. Three years, three years. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for this guy. I'm gonna go for this guy. Two years. There we go. Rhinas. I might have made a mistake, boys. Medium toxic, 69 overall. All right. It said two years. Uh, it was potential to be a medium elite, so I took him. Center sniper, boys. You never know. All right. I it took a chance on him. Uh, this is who I pick. All right. And now I could have went for this guy. 76 overall. Crash Venkov, boys, but I, I didn't see any elites, per se. So I, I wasn't convinced. I really wasn't convinced on this score. Yeah, see, he's he's less good. I, I've got a bigger choice, better choice right there, better pick overall. So, yeah, I'm happy with what I got, boys. I'm I'm just, uh, overall, very happy with what I got. Now, I, how much, how many two second rounds do I have? 
I'm pretty sure I have more than one for a second round, right? Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, I only have one second round? Oh, okay. Well, it did say I'm kind of tempted to try that Summer Olsen guy, though. I, I wanted to try him out, boys. Uh, so I could probably try and move out a little bit and move up, but uh, I'm not going to try it. Not going to try it, boys. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Bunch of medium top fours and top six right here. Uh, more of the more often than not, it's... Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a medium elite right there. Vought, boys. Medium elite. 64 overall center uh, or right wing sniper. That's a really good one. All right. So we'll try and take... Uh, we'll try and pick somebody that uh, might be good. Uh, might have the chances to be a good uh, play, uh, like good guy. Like this one could be really a, an elite for sure. Uh, I'm going to take the ones that really uh, look like they might be elites, boys. So let's take Landon and low top six. How come? Like, I'm. Man, I'm scouting these guys. I know for a fact they can be elites. I don't get it. I don't I don't get it how this works, boys. I really don't get it. Uh, whatever. Let's go into uh, our third round pick right here. I really don't get how this is happening right now. I don't know who's who, boys. At this point, already in the third uh, third round, and you already don't know who's who. The the the, the whole system's pretty much glitch. And uh, keep in mind that I've went ahead. If you don't scout at all, if you let the AI scout during the entire season, then th it's going to make it so that there's no scouts at all during an entire season, boys. It's literally going to make that. You got to do it manually. And even when you do manually like I do the entire year, uh, you come down towards this particular area, you can't, you don't even know who's who anymore. You don't, you can't even know, uh, what exactly is the type of player. So the scouts are basically broken in this game. They don't work at all. It's always good to know that this game is broken in half, boys. Every single game that I play is broken this year. Has been broken. There's had some difficulties. I don't know why. But, uh, and then Forcer right here, I would never take that. Uh, Addison. Now we gotta take a look at the stats they're putting off, boys. So this one, there's some good decent stuff. Left wing though, uh, C minus five years. No, I'm not like I gotta look at the stats. What they might have for me. There it is. There's a guy right there, uh, but uh, 20 years of age. No, absolutely not. I'm not taking someone at 30 to 20 years of age. Only two, two games played for this guy. Uh, right D man. Okay, take a look, uh, take a chance on him. Or I'm going to take a chance on any player that might potentially be a, uh, an elite. So he wasn't an elite. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Uh, we took a chance on him. That's fine. Uh, this guy. Okay, so let's just take a look at any guy, really. So so far, it's this guy that's got the most potential. Uh, we're, we're, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Three years. I don't see anybody really right now that's popping up to me. Four years, let's say this guy, I guess, Domi, right? No, he's 19 years of age. Never mind, never mind. 19 years of age, I'm not picking him. Uh, four years, I guess. I'm picking the ones that can grow fast, I guess, for me right now. Four years. Uh, we know this guy's for three years, though. This guy might be good. Hold on. Uh, Wabakayashi, whatever. Oh, there we go. And we got three picks in a row, too. So that's a low top six. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Okay. So it's trading assets, boys. Trading assets for the future. I'm trying to pick these guys up, I guess. Uh, f f three years. I'm looking for someone that might have really good, like, potential or stuff like that. Uh, like, uh, the, in the three years and all. Yeah, there we go. There's a guy for the three years. Uh, 20 years of age, though. Nope. Not picking him. This guy, three years, and he's 17 years of age. I'm picking him up, boys. Just like that. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got right here. Uh, top nine, so low top nine. That's fine. That is just fine, boys. I'm happy with that. Okay, Cunningham. All right, going to the fourth, uh, fourth one now. I'm um, definitely now. I'm gonna definitely take a look at the elite players. So five years. I'm looking for the ones that have uh, a lot of years going on. Okay, so maybe you know when I do know about these guys. Usually, you want to go for players that. Um, have somewhat of a resemblance to someone else, right? They're they're being compared to somebody in particular. Usually, that's one you want to go for for sure. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, there's a three years, uh, three years right there. Takayashi boys, 19 years of age. Never mind. 19 years of age, boys. 
Keep looking right here. Keep looking. There's actually a um, guaranteed medium top four. I'm picking him up. If he's guaranteed a low uh, a top four, I'm, I'm just going to pick him up. I mean, I need these players that I can trade eventually, you know, during the future draft picks and stuff like that. I need these players, boys. So, all right. Uh, next up, who would I pick, boys? Who would I pick? I think I, I'm going to go for this Archibald guy, boys. He's a right wing. He can play on the left wing as well. He's a sniper. Pretty small, but he's got a good decent amount of points, even though it's C minus league, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there you go, low top four. Don't matter, boys. All right, you're not gonna uh, really find anybody that good in the the actually in the actual uh, at this uh, actual. Uh, you're not gonna find anybody uh, that good in the uh, up late this late, right? You might find an elite player if you're really lucky, but. I don't think it's gonna happen for us, so I'm just picking up uh, what I think could be good for us. Uh, do we, is there any gems? I forgot to sort by gems, by the way. I completely forgot about that. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much that. So we're just gonna sort it out like this. Uh, this guy seems like a good one. He did move up quite a lot, actually, so he could end up being good. Uh, same thing for this guy could move up, but uh, I, I don't know. Elite. Uh, there's a low top six right there, actually. I, I want to make sure that I pick up the ones I do know for a fact are going to be good for me, boys. So low top six trade assets. There's a round uh, six round pick right there. So we're at I'm not going to pick this guy. I already know he, he went down a little bit. Anybody that uh, whatsoever that might have good potential. Uh, maybe this guy. Nope. Anybody whatsoever that went up. Not really. There's this guy, power forward, maybe. Uh, but he's, yeah, he's 18 years of age. We can try him out, I guess. Power forward. Uh, can't hurt anybody. Oh my god, bottom six. That's garbage. That's absolutely garbage, boys. We haven't, we didn't get anybody. Oh, there we go. There's a low elite right before us, boys. Walter. Damn. Right before us. All right. So it is still possible to get elites. It's just very hard, boys. I don't know. Uh, Matthias Sundin. I was pretty close to Matt Sundin right there for a name. Uh, okay, so I don't know who to go for right here, boys. At this point, I kind of tended to let the AI decide for me. Let's go for Casper guy. Center. Center grinder. Yeah, garbage. Garbage, boys. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All right? The, the other guy got a 7th uh, anyway, so... Really... Uh, Realistically, we didn't have any uh, another. It's another bad trade deadline uh, or another bad draft day. It's really, it really is. Uh, we haven't found anybody really that was that good uh, for us. Uh, I'm kind of sad because we keep getting uh, wrecked during these draft days, these draft lotteries, and we can't because of that. We don't pick anybody that's really good that can help us out right away. Or like big time prospects or future prospects, we don't pick anybody. All right, so that's the problem right here. We because we don't pick anybody, we're not moving up quick enough. You know, we're not gonna do. We're not doing stuff. It's a uh, really shame, really. So I, I guess, I guess it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna just get rid of the yes because they're not good anyways. They're not good at scouting people. So all right, so I think that's good. We're good on that side. And uh, yeah, we're, we're good for that uh, coaching wise as well. Uh, can I resign? Do I need to resign coaches? I don't think I do. Nope. And uh, we'll think we're good. So we can go to the contract negotiations here. Finally, take a look at our players right here. Uh, see what we got to do, what we have to deal with. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with the contracts, I guess. All right, boys. So already I took care of everything. It didn't take a long time at all. And I'm going to tell you right now what's going to happen is I don't need any players, really. I really don't need any players. Now, unless if we see some good big time players, which we, we probably will, I am going to re-sign Ovechkin for another two year deal, boys. So uh, he's there for another two years for us. I wanted to have him back, obviously, because he scores a lot of goals for us and he really helped us out going all the way to the finals this year. I'm uh, going to sign a bunch of prospects. Uh, Pugliarvi dropped. He's not no longer an elite player. He is 84 overall, but he didn't grow. And he's he is now basically uh, a top six, a low top six instead of low elite boy. So he dropped in potential. So that's a shame, but I'm still going to re-sign him because he has some good 
like you still got that potential of being a good de a decent player for us so i don't know we'll, we'll see where this leads us also um i am gonna need a goalie a new backup goaltender because uh long is 80 overall but he's a fringe starter exact fringe starter now so i'm pretty sure that means that he's going to continue to drop and uh during this season itself he's probably going to be a 79 or 78 boys he's probably going to be uh not being gonna be good enough anymore for the actual nhl so i'm gonna have to play him i anticipate to play him on the back uh, nhl uh, ahl so we're gonna need a backup goalie and just a depth forward that's all we're going after right now for now at least unless there's really good players which obviously every year there's good players look at this yeah every year there's good players there's always good players every year 90 overalls and stuff like that now Two-way defenseman, good, but two-way defense, uh, two-way forward, absolutely trash. We're not going for Sebastian Ao, that's for sure. Uh, we do not want that type of player. That's not, it doesn't belong with with us. But uh, we could go for these two defensemen, upgrade our core even more, boys. We could do that, and uh, like literally just trade the two defensemen we already have. We could do that, which uh, I think I'm gonna just end up cheating and go for it, going for it because. We need it. Uh, players like Be Malkin as well, you know. Uh, players like them, they're really good. But uh, if I see an elite, I I'll let these guys go for another team. But if I see an elite player like this, I got to pick him up. Got to pick him up automatically because I need him on my team, boys. I need them on my team right away. I need uh, their help. So forward-wise, though, we do need uh, a depth forward. Right away, that's the first thing I'm thinking about is we need a depth forward. So... Um, let's take a look for an 80 overall player that anybody could grow, uh, help us out. Nick Patan, is he good enough? Um, no, not really good enough. I'm looking for the, uh, for this now. So 84, I need someone that's 85 at least. There we go. Nick Cousins, boys. Perfect. Nick Cousins is going to be a replacement right here. All right. So I'll actually have him for the five year deal. There we go. Five year deal, boys. Just stay here for a while uh for with us for a while three two point three five there we go just like that and uh now now we've got that done we can take a look at the players that they're they're giving us uh, i don't need that keith kachuk uh, no matthew kachuk i should say matthew kachuk had a good uh, good season with the calgary flames but now he wants to go and see what type of offers he can get he's a really good player uh minimally power forward left winger boys fantastic player that he would be a fantastic player for us another power forward fantastic man i would take that all day all day every day boys i think i, I would definitely take that so uh, i'm interested in him now uh we are gonna take uh we're gonna make our due diligence so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take him about uh eight eight million he wants eight million worth seven years uh i'm seven years we we'll put him at 33 I'm actually going to just give him four years, four years with us, and he wants that. So I'm only going to give him uh, 9.1, all right? 9.1, I'm not pushing it. I'm not pushing it like I would normally, even though there's a team that's going for him. Not pushing it too much, all right? Uh, defense, uh, actually, uh, we've got to go uh, take a look at everybody. So right winger, do we have a right winger? Nope. Not really defensive wise. Now we do have two defensive players that uh, could be really good for us. Do the uh, defensive uh, two ways as well. So uh, yeah, McAvoy for sure. I definitely would want to go for him. Uh, he's 91. Oh, actually, well, he's not that good. He's not that good, actually. 91. Oh, yeah. These guys are not that good compared to some other players. But they're both elites. You got to keep that in mind. I think uh, what you want to look at is their defensive, actually. Defensive prospect. Yeah, this guy. Uh, no, Anifin is not that good. Uh, I, I think I, I'll let Anifin alone. Like, I definitely want to go for someone like McAvoy. Could be really good, though. We'll give him a deal, both of them. But uh, if they don't come, they don't come towards us. All right, it's fine, I guess. I'll just give them a deal uh, really quick. Uh, that's the amount of money he wants. He wants $8 million. So I'll give them nine. All right, I'll give him nine. 9.65 for four years. That's what you're gonna get. And Anifin, 
you're gonna get uh because I don't need them, so that's why I'm not pushing it. You're gonna get uh, nine, uh, ten point uh, one twenty-five for three years. That's what you're getting, buddy. All right, deal with it. It's either that or you're going with somebody else. All right. And our goalie-wise, now we do need a backup goalie. That's one thing that we do need for sure. There's an elite goalie, but uh, goalies, I'm not picking him up. I already have Markstrom. He's fine as it is. Just need a backup. A backup could be an 84, boys, uh, as high as 84. So I got to really find somebody that's really good. Someone that played really good uh, last year. So actually, yeah, the, the better one is Tristan Jerry so far. So let's keep looking, boys. I'm looking at percentage. Save percentage right here. I think the best option would definitely be uh, Tristan Jerry, boys. I think he's the best option right here. So let's uh, pick him up. And uh, give him, I guess, big time deal, a six year deal, boys, because we don't have anybody, right? So we're gonna make sure he comes with us at uh, 5.825, right? We're gonna make sure he, he really wants to come with us. So there we go, just like that. And uh, I think we should, I think we're good on this side. Also, I do wanna go for the, the coach, right? We do need a coach right here. So let me uh, find out uh, what I can do right here really, really quick. All right, let's see, boys. So I went for Getzlav, obviously. I've offered him a great deal of amount of money uh, for him to be an AHL assistant coach. And he's not that good as well. So I don't feel that you're all you offer me. Not interested in joining the job title. So he's not interested. I'm going to have to uh, convince him a little bit further. If he de definitely doesn't want to go, boys. Then I'll have to go for uh, Jay Bomister. I, I did see Jay Bomister in there as well. He is an option. As you can see, he's right there. But he's a defensive player. Uh, I want to go for someone that, you know, we know uh, we know for sure what, he, uh, what he's uh, worth. And plus, he's a generalist. I need a generalist right here. So, yeah, you got to come with us, buddy. You got to come with us. So, look, you don't want to, you don't want me to assist, uh, assistant coach. It doesn't matter to me. All right, I'll just give you even more, I guess. I'll give you seven. I'll give you 7.5. There we go. 7.5 uh, right there. That's quite a lot for an assistant coach right there. At the AHL especially, that's really a lot, buddy. So you got to you gotta accept. You got to accept. That's a really good deal for you, buddy. Come on, accept already. All right, let's go, go, go. Extremely happy. So we do have Tristan Jerry. He's going to be our backup now. Uh, Nick Cousins, our depth forward. So we got him. All right, let's hope uh, Getzlav is there. Good. He accept, boys. So we got uh, Getzlav as our uh, assistant coach. Uh, we do uh, We do not have Charlie McAvoy. He decided to go for somebody else. That's fine. Decided to um, sign with the Calgary Flames. All right, so he, he's, he went for the Calgary Flames. We do have Matthew Kachak, though. He accepted, boys. So we have Matthew Kachuk on the team. And Noah Anifin did, did not come with us. So we lost Anifin right here. And are we going to get somebody else? Uh, is there somebody else that we're getting? Nope. Don't feel like it is the case. No? Okay, I think we're good. So um, we do... I thought we uh, we went after McAvoy as well, right? Is he, is, he, is he still thinking? Oh, no. I guess not. I think he uh, picked up. So... We did get uh, a, a very important player right here, which means if we take a look at the uh, proposed trade really quick, we are going to need to trade a player for sure right now. So we do have Matthew Kachak, our official best player now <laughs> of our left wing position. Really good. So these three players, these four players, I'm definitely going to keep them, boys. Uh, I don't need to keep Schwartz now. I can actually trade Schwartz. Because he's got, or I could trade uh, Jesper Brat, but Jesper Brat's still growing. He's a really good player for us, boys. Yeah, Jesper Brat is a really good player for us. So I want to keep him. Um, Ehlers, what has he done really for us? Well, actually, not quite a lot. He was playing on the first line most of the, the entire season and only 60 points. I don't know. We could trade uh, Ehlers. He's got a good amount of potential, but he's still an exact lead. Don't want to get rid of him, boys. I think we got to get rid of uh, Jaden Schwartz. Like, literally get rid of him or something like that. Because he's only, he's 83 overall, he's 32 years of age. He's only going to, he's going to start dropping. He doesn't fit on any line for us, really. 
not on the lines we want to play him at least so uh yeah i think we should get rid of him boys i think we should get rid of him give him to a team that uh wants to uh, would want him now obviously a team on the west side all right so first things first i think uh that's perfect the uh the docks would be perfect uh, let's just see really quick. Uh, draft pick. Can you give us a draft pick? I just want a draft pick. That's all I want. See a fourth round maybe. A fourth round. I could probably get a third round actually for. Uh, there we go. Could probably get a third round for Jaden Schwartz. Let's try it out, boys. Nope. Okay. Not gonna happen. So maybe uh, two f two fourth two fourth round picks. No. Nope, no. Neither. So just a fourth. There we go. Just a, a fourth round pick for Jaden Schwartz. That's f that's fine by me, boys. Right? Uh, Jaden Schwartz wasn't really worth anything for me, anyways. Uh, so I'm happy to get rid of him. And we got Matthew Kachuk. He's, he, he's getting replaced by Matthew Kachuk, which is way better, in my opinion. So we're good on that side. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that, I guess. And now I think uh, we can just simulate to the entire season. I'm actually going to stop it right here, boys. And. Uh, do the edit lines on my, by myself. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.